When you think about Mexico, you probably think about tequila or mezcal. But as I've learned, you should really be thinking about beer. The craft beer phenomenon is spreading like wildfire throughout Mexico. Craft breweries are successfully challenging Mexico's beverage giants. They are teaching consumers that there is more than just two styles of beer defined by light and dark colors that Mexico produces. One of these breweries is setting the standards high for the Mexican craft beer scene. Founded by four friends, they are pushing the creative envelope on their award-winning beers using traditional Mexican ingredients. And they were voted Mexico's best brewery in 2019. Welcome to Cerveza Fortuna, the only beer brewery that is on the tequila trail. I'm Jeff. I just retired from the military, sold everything I own, and now I'm traveling around the world to learn from brewers, winemakers, distillers, and tell their story. This is my journey of beer, wine, and spirits. It's a very complex job, to be honest. You can go very good, you can go very wrong, you know? There's also something inside it that is making beer, that is a microorganisms, that is a, a microbe, that is yeast. And from yeast and from all the four elements, that is water, malt, yeast, and hops, there's like tons of info. And I always tell that if you wanna come up with a beer, it's like a Kubrick. You can make once, single change and everything will change like a combination of a safety box so in order to do that and understand the, the four elements you need to have a education talking about the industry about uh, fortuna is something that you can trust the education because once you know what is going on inside you can talk about it i put my papers at ucsd the for me is the mecca San Diego or California because they put science on each four elements. And I went to UCSD for two years and a half and I had an opportunity to intern at Los Tavi that I'm always be welcoming those guys, like the people who brought me into this joyful, the rock stars, the mavericks of the beers. And obviously the time of Wayne and, and Tommy Arthur to open up the space, his space to, to learn more about it. When I think of Mexico, I think of Modelo, I think of Tecate, I, I think of Corona. I don't get right off the bat a craft beer scene here. Yep. So what made you want to jump right into the craft beer scene and open up a craft brewery? When you were born and you were surrounded by four kinds of styles that are not as styles, are colors or mouthfeels or flavors, that is clara, obscura, lights, and micheladas is how these guys you mentioned, the big monopoly out there will sell out beer. At the same time, that, those kind of styles that they sell out, like Clara, Obscura and Light, are always pushing the real styles away. And when I had the first opportunity to have a real beer that I was a double IPA, something to, totally the opposite way that we have here, over here, actually in those days I didn't know what was a hop. So not even in the labels you can find a hop from those these big guys. I've been traveling around Mexico and I get to see on the beer menu Fortuna. Nice. Fortuna. Okay, I understand fortune, right? Translated into yep. English. Tell me, what is it? What, what is the meaning behind it? Well, fortune, as you said, is whatever we like. Uh, we, we digital this or we bring the fortune as a first wheel. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, we call it Rueda la Fortuna, the round of fortune. Fortune is whatever you like. It's health, success, friendships, love. For someone's hard money, for someone's hard, and it's not that. For me, sometimes it's like the, the right. Sometimes I invite you to join the ride. Sometimes we're in the bottom, sometimes we're in the top, but we're always having fun. 
Cheers for that. Awesome. Cheers for that. <laughs> From now on, what I want to do to keep alive is to learn and still do collaboration or get in contact with the clever guys and also to help the guys who are into joining this on this ride. As I said, it's like a, a round of, of fortune, like a Ferris wheel. I invite you to do things better because there are a lot of people who invited me to grow better. Uh, three words that are very important that you'll see on my level, not, not on the fancy side, but besides of it, it's, it's, it's our, like our, our roots, the, the way we work. With passion, that is passion, notion, that is knowledge, and respect. So it's passion, notion, and respect. We are passionate about creating recipes, about putting our hearts into labels in, in the experience we can throw back. Uh, we know by knowledge, by uh, notion, we know what's going inside, we know that if something is wrong, we have to take it out. Uh, respect is also that. We respect the final client because we are ruining what you guys deserve. And we are not uh, joking about it. And that will give us like the, 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 the support all the words for the, the wall of fame or shame. <laughs> cheers. Well, cheers to that, Joaquin. And I get passion, I get knowledge, and I get respect in everything you. that I have of you. And I appreciate yes. your time, and thanks for allowing us to come out and tell your story. Mm -hmm.